This place? This place is normal, okay? <laughs> oh, wait. Look at that. It looks like my sleep paralysis demon. So, here's the thing. I made our scariest mod pack on Earth. And I decided to make a playthrough on this. Oh, well. 100 days on this. About the things I saw. I mean, wh what is this even? This... This isn't even a dinosaur. This belongs on no planet. This is an infernal creature. But simply adding a bunch of freaking unknown monsters is just one part of making this scary. I did something I never should have done. I removed Gamma. And I removed the weapon cursor. Two things that you and I mostly take for granted. Just completely gone. Knights are actually terrible now. Just... Picture yourself this, walking around, nighttime, pitch black, you can't see anything. Hey, to make this even more terrifying, this is hardcore mode, for real this time, no excuses. Doesn't matter if I have a domination rex or a grave tyrant or an industrial forge, if I die, it's all just gone. But hey. I did make a little challenge for myself to regain control over the Gamma. I have to defeat this formidable Nightmare King. A level 1000 Domination Rex on day 75. Then, and only then, will I regain control over gamma up and down. gamma -ing. That's funny, because that's, that's not a real word, that's funny. <laughs> Anyways, with, with all that said, get comfortable. Grab yourself something nice to eat, because this adventure is a very, very long one, very exciting one, and you do not want to miss even a single second of this, okay? Enjoy! My name is Dabu Wabu. This... Where am I? What is this place? What? There's like a giant chasm over there. Oh my... Good lord. There's a box here. I can barely see. Good night, I legend. Well, that's ominous. That's very ominous. In a box. Oh! Some tools. You know what? That's that's pr that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I love myself some good star tools. But you know what? I want to gamma up now. I said I want to gamma up. Gamma. Very well then. Oh, a campfire. Okay. That's pretty nice. That was not bad at all. Wait, no crosshair. No crosshair. No gamma. Oh, that's spooky. <laughs> oh. Hi there, little Lystro. I could kill you, but it won't really have any sense, because... There's no rocks for me. And without rocks, I can't craft a pickaxe. And without a pickaxe, I can't harvest your body. I mean, this whole place is giving me all spooky vibes. I actually hit him. Oh. Goodbye. Where do I even go? Where do I find rocks? Oh my god! Cha cha sa! Only four damage, wait, wait, wait. Oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I thought the light would kill it. I thought the light would do something, but it did nothing. The light does nothing. I have to move from here. I can't be near this blue zone. I need to find some stones to pick. Oh my god, no! 
No, the rivers are my only safe haven right now. So, this is the Nightmare Realm. Quite the place. And hey, don't worry too much about that starting here, because let's be real here. Assault rifles are just so bad. Anyways, I managed to find a couple of rocks and got started getting a pickaxe and some spears. Because of a big snake blocking my path further. You guys know that one scene from Jurassic Park where a whole group gets jumped by raptors in tall grass? This uh, kind of reminded me of that scene. Oh yeah, if you're wondering what mod pack this is, well, the mod pack with all of the mods is out on my Patreon page. So if you're interested in knowing that, yeah, just check out my Patreon. Piranhas. Ah! No. Oh wow. Okay. That was very unexpected. But I'll take it. Our first little win. Wait, what am I doing? I had these bad boys. Anyways, night time was soon to come. That sentence really didn't make much sense, but you know what I mean. I got a couple of walls and some armor, and I started building a very tiny tent. Oh, I can barely see a thing. And it's only six. This is only going to get worse. When we look here at the map. That is the entire river, right? And the river goes up. So I think... Our best option right now is to simply follow the river until we find like an open ground. Look, there's a big lake right there. We must get to the lake or we must get to open rivers. I see nothing and I hear nothing but noises. This is so freaky. How am I going to survive this? There we go, these ones. Now look at my levels go up. I want you to look. Look on the side. Look there. The little icon. I'll just enlarge it. Oh, that's wonderful. That is great. I always craft those when I have the chance. For that little spurt of XP. Day 2. And I had the plan in mind of moving along the river until we found a secure location. So that's what I did. Ventured out into the unknown. Very scary. Oh lord. Those giant ants. Those are giant ants. Okay, can you believe that? I certainly couldn't. Giant ants the size of dogs walking, crawling in the shadows. However, luckily... I avoided them and moved further along the edge when I stumbled upon a group of parasaurs, which I thought I could easily tame with a club. However, running away from a wooden stick into a group of raptors, they uh, murked themselves. Avoiding both raptors and nasutos and so many other things, I eventually found a horse. A level 5, yes, but I needed it. There was a close call where this horse almost got me killed by this Nazuto, but seemed like it was chill of us. Oh. After taming the horse and finding a little bulldog, which was very adorable, so I tamed it. There we go, thank you. Now we have light. We have the light. And now, your viewers, don't get too attached to this guy, because unbeknownst to me at the time, this would not be our one and only dog. The journey was very intense, very stressful, and not a little bit scary. Go, my horse. Go, my, my trusty companion. Go, we are on the run. They're fighting giant ants. Who's winning? Who is winning? You know what? I shouldn't stay here. What? Uh. 
Oh my god, and the raptors here. Oh, I have no chance at surviving this. If I could have simply used gamma commands, it would have been so, so much better. What am I to do? Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Oh, I just realized how stupid. There it is. There it is. That's what I was afraid of. That was what I was about to say. I was about to say this is so stupid because there are sarcos here. Please run, run, run. Run, little horsey. Run. That's Sarko. Nearly ripped us to shreds. So, I uh, needed a moment to catch my breath. It was also night again, so traveling became a whole lot scarier. And luckily, the good Bob Dog was there to help us out. We're good. We're good. I feel 110% better near Stegos. A group of three. That's a Gorgonops! Not a Gorgonops. What is its name? No! They killed it. They killed the Postasuchus. Realizing that those Stegos were stronger than 15 spiked walls. What? Why 15? That's. What a weird metaphor. Anyways, the Stegos meant security and safety. So, after getting some hide and discovering a very overpowered leveling method. I don't know what that does, but. Okay, I guess. I actually feel relatively safe around these, uh, around these boys. What do I do with this? Eight points! Oh my god, that's insane! Craft another one. Yeah, so, I found a Carnotaurus. Uh, <laughs> as you do, of course. But this one was different, as it was somehow torpor running. So despite me just being like on a very weak horse, I ran after it and I wanted to knock it out. <gasps> Knocked out! Knocked out! Oh, I'm stuck as well. Oh no. Oh no. Well, this is great. Toward the end of that day, I began constructing a little home surrounded by spikes and a dino gate. And <sighs> I discovered something stupid, okay? Can't see jack shit. How does that work? How does that seem fair? Like this gives nothing and this just gives like a giant... Arc logic! Arc logic! Day 4 started with some more work on the little shack. I also got a dino gate and discovered the winter squash. Good food, yes. I also made a couple of static torches and finished construction on my shack. Nearing like the middle of the day I saw a couple of nasty creatures nearby. So I just shot them and lured them over to the stegos. From killing that one postasuchus I got two more levels. Good. Yes. And then I took down a scorpion as well before taking down another one. Okay. I needed their chitin for a post to settle, and considering we got that little egg in the beginning, I thought it would be very nice to get a posto of our own. 
Welcome to the family, little fellow. Please. Cuddle! Yes! Good shit! Stop, stop, stop. Put out, put out. Okay. Good shit. Nice. That is beautiful. This right here is beautiful. <laughs> you know what? For the irony's sake. Gorgonops. Exclamation mark. <laughs> Gorgonops. Like, a Gorgonops isn't even a creature. <laughs> like, I just screamed that out of nothing. <sighs> After feeding that guy a little bit, I wanted to explore some more. Man, I'm getting so confident right now. I'm just waiting for the moment that Ark will just take it all away. Well! Oh my god! Why did I leave my base? Yeah, I just am terrible after seeing all that. Oh, and our little poster reached the age of paying taxes on the morning of day five. So I gave it the saddle, called it Gorgonops after my very embarrassing scream, and I took down a giant ant guy. Oh yeah. Iron Husk. Guess what? Building that shack was a total waste of time because not one day later I decided to pack my things and continue the journey toward the massive lake. These lamps, I want to follow them. And I want to harvest them. <sighs> Guess I'm not going to get myself a... Uh... Spyglass. I just have to watch out, that's all. I have to be cautious of everything I'm doing. But so far... <gasps> green gems. Now all we need is luck. Yes, sir. All right. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. A level fourteen. Wondering if it's worth the risk. You know? We will continue this way. The promise of a better land. Oh, this is a... Uh... What are you? A... Naimongo. Hi! How's it going? Hi! Two of them! Are they like compies or they attack me in groups? They're like the tiniest little... Therizinosaurids I have ever seen. There's the lake. That was what was on my map. Wonderful, we found it. Well, guess we're really faced with no other option but to just bamboozle it. I'm 
Sorry. On this journey, I learned that Postasukas surprisingly aren't attacked by raptors. <sighs> raptors really don't attack me. They don't go after me. I'll find some metal. Oh no, they're not. There's not one up here. I was thinking like, oh, maybe we, uh, but no. I was thinking, oh, maybe we can go to a surface area. Find some metal right there, but no. Huh. <gasps> no, that's not good. Please. Oh my God. Yes, we did it. We got the metal node. We got the metal nodes. Hallelujah, my friends. Finally. We did it. We found a spot. Why is there a spino up there? Level 80. Day 6 and we arrived at the lake. Well, I guess a little bit higher than the lake, but now it's... Nah. Yeah, whatever. I started building another little bit of foundation surrounded by wooden spikes. Using a little method where I shoot some Stegosaurus, I also basically killed off any nearby raptors in the area. I then tamed a little Sintau as well before something unexplainable happened. Ran through that guy. Um, what the hell? What the hell, game? What the hell? Ah, So stupid! I wanted to progress and actually play this game, and now I... Day 7, and as you probably guessed it, I started placing down a mortar. Got some metal smelting and cooking up. Some narcotics and spark powder being made, and a smoothie. Crystal? That's new. Oh yeah, I installed better app. That's true, that's true. I completely forgot. Wow, we A thousand metal. This thing does not want to break. Wow. Jesus. With more than enough metal smelting, I looked at the requirements to craft a aberrant station for that blue boy armor. Green gems were easy to get. I just had a couple near my outpost. But blue gems are a different story. So after getting a crossbow, I headed toward the blue zone on day 8. Once more, an extremely dangerous journey. But man, it got more interesting, very interesting, when I got closer and closer to the blue. What are you? I expected to see like Ravager or something. That thing was so fast. Alpha Nazi! Yeah, over there, there was something terrifying. Pinacos against the lead. That's just a tiny little bugger. I saw a dog. 
Oh my god, my man is going after Stegos? It's like a bloodbath here. The Stego is already bloody. Oh, that's that means no good. 190. What are you fighting? Why is there fire? What the hell is that? A fire spitter? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I want to see this. Level 50. And a level 170. This is actually like a... Really interesting battle. Because I don't think that... Nasus... Like Alphas can't lose, right? What? What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? Something attacked me. Something in the dark. Something I do not see. I want to run past. Quick. No! What a scam. The Alpha Nas was killed! I have never before seen an Alpha get killed by wildlife. Oh, what? Oh, that's scary. On the dawning of day nine. Yo, that's actually a pretty cool sentence now that I said it. Dawning of day nine? That's pretty cool. I'm going to write that down and remember it for the next 100 days. Anyways, I got the blue gems and went on the dangerous journey back home. But, it wasn't really that scary. To be honest, it wasn't that scary once I got past the fire spitter. And on D10, I was home again. And got the Aaron station. Very good. The first thing I did once I got it was to craft a better climbing pick. As it had a little over double the durability as its normal variant. I also got full crystal armor, but it was just a stupid letdown. Why is only the helmet blue? What? Nah, no, that's a scam. That's a scam. It's only part. Only the part I don't see is changed. That's a shame. shouldn't risk it, but going down and up is so painful, I guess. Onto the Spinosaurus, yes! But for now I just gave myself a brand new revolver. Which could use the flashlight, making the assault rifle totally useless. But I just called myself a scope instead. I'm going to get myself the scope. During all this, I uh, also made myself a, uh, a a trap for that potential Spinosaurus I wanted to tame. And after exploring around the lake a little bit and having to swim dangerously close to some big crabs and spino dinos, I managed to survive, get to shore, and started assembling my trap. The trap I went with was one that I used in an earlier 100 days, and it's very good. Yes. Spino's going to go up there though. So the Spino will run up here, we jump through, the Spino is inside. Yeah. Yeah. 
day 13 started off with getting the anomaly crafter and some more spoiled meat as you can see right here. I'd say it's a nice addition to these few foundations and just makes the overall location a little bit more lovely. Even though I completely forgot about the crafter's existence and never used it once. Oh yeah, I got myself the upgrading station. Very nice. And then I get a better guy, a better climbing pick, a gym membership and a motivational speaker. No wait, what am I saying? David Goggins clips, okay? David Goggins clips. That's all I have to say. Nineteen. Bad metaphor right there. Yes, but anyways, with this climbing pick, I was sure that it wouldn't break for the whole duration of the 100 days. A crossbow and the revolver were also upgraded. I also got flak armor, so I guess I uh, kind of risk my life for that extra bit of blue gems for nothing. Ah. I also got a glider suit for my chest plate. Go glider. Gorgo will have the things, the tracks. Guess what? I wanted to tame that spino, right? Well, guess again. Alpha Karkinos. Yes, indeed, a big bad alpha crab. And I just had to take it out. Funnily enough, this very much felt like a deja vu because last 100 days in the Crystal Isles had the exact same thing happen to us. A alpha blocking our path. So we took it down with our crossbows. Hey, don't run. Oh wow, hi. You almost got me scared from my uh, little gorgy. Plan is simple. Get this man a corpse. Get him stuck with eating the corpse. Are you serious right now? Yes, there's the stego. There's the corpse. Oh, nice. Another. Another crap. Oh my! Wait, this is what we wanted. It's trying to kill a corpse. This is what we wanted. It stopped. It's after me. Stupid crap. Done it. It's <laughs> He's done it! There we go. There we go. Yes! Yes! 17 levels. Oh my god. Finally, I can already see the light of a better future. You see this spinal rare? Yes, of course. I made it my very own friend, bodyguard, and personal assistant when life gets too hard. So, a fitting name is, of course. Dingle the Doodle. Yes, I like you, Dingle the Doodle. <laughs> Alright, Dingle the Doodle. Follow me! Oh, yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, level 90, wow! Well done, Dingle the Doodle! 
Go on, Dingle the Doodle. 191 damage. Ooh. That has to be high. Do there. Fight the Saltar. This is great because I can now see what Saltas can do. Ah. Uh, 30 damage. Okay, so Saltas have armor. Yeah, go! Go ham! Destroy! Destroy Dingle the Doodle! Destroy! Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dingle the Doodle! And the crowd goes wild! <sighs> oh my god! No! Cementing paste and silica! Oh. Man, that is... 25 only. Oh no. Oh no. And it's not even a double craft. Yeah, that was a little bit problematic. Could have Dingo the Doodle, but I couldn't ride him. That sounds, that sounds horrible. Anyways, I got the binoculars crafted up. But I needed silica pearls for the Spino saddle. So I uh, traveled down a lake, but discovered nothing. So I had to go out exploring again, risking my little life once more. By the way, while I was recording this, it was like cooking in my room. Absolutely steaming. And for basically the whole first half of this, I was sitting, pouring buckets of sweat. I had to sit there in front of my PC like a buffoon, without a shirt on and short pants. This summer was an atrocity. Didn't like it. And that comes from me who sits in Norway. Now imagine how someone who lives in Italy has it. Why? So much pointless muttering. Anyways, I got a Scorpio Ovenator tamed up. Got pearls, killed some ravagers, and I had some target practice. After that, I traveled the whole way home again, and I discovered a very new ability to the Scorpio Veneta. What? I wrote that so wrong. In my script it says Scorpio Veneta. <laughs> Anyways, the Scorpio Veneta has the ability to convert simple chitin into cementic paste. Even better, instead of the usual eight chitin equals one cementic paste, this guy converts a single piece of chitin into one cementic paste. Ah, I also made a saddle for that fellow. Got a sickle, long neck, which I of course gave some upgrades, and my Spinosaur also got a saddle. Let's move to a better place. Somewhere near the blue zone. Somewhere with a lot of riches. Somewhere good. Somewhere safe. Somewhere with water. And somewhere with danger. And I see the exact place I want to go. I had to move once more. Once more indeed. I should have just called this thing 100 days in the cave as a nomad. But before all that traveling in the future, we gotta do some more things right this day. I took the good Dingo the Doodle for a spin and tamed one regular and one tech stegosaur. I thought that with these traveling would be much safer and they could carry a bit of weight. And I also named my Scorpio. Scorpio Venator. Well, the obvious choice is to call it the Scorpion. Or we can call it Scorpion Chicken. Chicken Scorpion. Wait, the combination of a Scorpion and a Chicken. Chickorpion. Chickorpion. There we go. Chickorpion. Greatest name of all time right there. Day 18, or better said, night 18, since we were under the effects of a 10% and 90% nighttime. 
I was mostly spent packing up my whole base and loading the items into the inventories of my guys. Day 19 and it was time to head out of this place. We knew where we wanted to go and so I started traveling just to immediately stop. Oh no, I'm not going to take those stairs with me. No, you. And you can stop. Because I'm not, I'm not going to do that. No way. <laughs> no way. Way too slow. With the Stagos now no longer with us, the travel went much quicker, faster, and better. But it was still, of course, filled with death around every corner. <gasps> what? No! 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 No, I left them for one second! No, I left them for like a single second! Oh no! No! I was just expecting the surrounding, no! Oh! No! No, we don't even have the tribe log! <sighs> Kevin, no! Still speedy, right? Do I have to take something? Take that metal, okay. I'll take the metal. Where is it now? Fire Spitter and the Nazuto are chill. Surprisingly. I'll just have to big ball it. Come on. Come on. Almost home. Home is where the food is. Home is where the food is. Home is where it's safe. Let's run past all of that danger. And we're going the right way now, right? Yes, we are. Era. I had a good feeling about the spot. Very good. So I got a brand new Stegosaurus. And a demon hell dog. Whoa! I just ate that bowler like a chat. I also gave these two new fellows some terrible, just terrible names. <laughs> but just wait for the next 100 days. That one has even worse names because, I mean, I literally named a guy Big Fish and another one, well, <coughs> another one I named Blue Crystals. Ah, uh, was, what a good one. I then got to work constructing a couple of foundations for a floor. I heard that if you go into detail about your base, your subscribers will be happy, happy guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm going with just the basic triangle floors in the middle, six of them. And then one outer layer of stone with six triangles and six normal foundations. I also went outwards a little bit to make like a... I guess I made like a little arm of sorts for a few forges. I don't know. I guess I placed them all the way outwards so it's easier for an Anki to drop off all of its inventory. And this way I wouldn't cook alive inside of my humble abode. Day 22 and it was more the same. Construction in the house was going well. The interior design was next, such as all the crossing stations. And in a little time I already see myself taking the resources and valuables out of my critters inventories and into the smithy. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, let me give you a little tour of our base. So here we have Vampire Dog, here we have Doritosaurus, here we have Big Boy, here we have oh, a very scary guy. Then we walk up, we have campfires cooking here. The base is still a progress, remember that. But look, we have storage with all of my loot, anomaly detector, S plus converter, we have the errand st station, upgrading station next to the smithy. 
Now we have this little boy right here. And then we have five smelters. And a little walkway down. Say we have like an Anki. We place the Anki here. And we walk up. And we fill them all up. How does that sound? Sound good? Yeah, it does. Oh. After the tour, I got myself a Ravager saddle for the Vampire Dog. Upgraded my metal pick a little bit and went out exploring. Got some gems. But, I want a medal as well. It won't get me. It won't climb this entire way. It'll lose aggro. This is so sketch, man. These rocks contain metal. Large quantities of them. Oh yes, we found them. There we go, metal. What? What are you talking about? I'm in rain. Oh, dire bear. Goodbye, little bear. On day 23, I got back home and got the metal in the forge, so cooking and smelting and getting nice. I then went out again to collect metal. Again. I found this guy, though. But we didn't really become good mates. Ow. I also witnessed an interesting showdown between a Pinaco man and a Megalania. Pinaco versus Megalania. I think the Pinaco will win. But I'm not betting anything. Those Megalanias are actually pretty scary because they can give you rabies in a single bite. I would not like that to happen. They. 24. I ventured into the deep blue. Okay, so. Oh my god. Four on each side. That's eight. Wait. Ha! It's three! There's three of them. Whoa! This guy summons like three of himself. Oh, that looks so. Oh! Oh, you do not want to be like on foot when one of those buggers wants to get you. I just saw something scary. What are you? Spino Raptor! Oh, I want one of those. That sounds so cool. Castro. Huh? What? That's not from this world. What the hell? Yes, that's literally from that place. What the hell are you? What? What are you? What are you? What are you? Galva Rex? What? Four eyes and pink blood. Oh my god! That actually. S oh, that gave me a heart attack. Oh my god, bro. I didn't see it. Yeah, no, not a big fan of that place. And yet, after filling my bottles with that sweet water, amazing water, I continued the exploration. And I saw it. 
the deep red chasm. Well, we found the chasm, everyone. We have found the chasm. We will have to explore that place soon enough. After that, still, I did not leave this place behind. I continued onward. I need, like, a strong mount for the rock drag trench. That's what I need. I mean, this spino is good, but we need something stronger. I want one of those spino raptors. Is that creepy guy going to fight the iguano? Oh, it is. Oh my god, it spawns so much more. Take a look at that. That is freaky. Oh shoot! Oh my god. Bro, I keep on getting jump scared by like vanilla things, bro. Oh my... Why? What? What? How many legs is that? What is that mouth? I'm sorry, what? Taming type not tameable. Well, no wonder. Oh my god, it's a, it's Angatugama. You chill? We chill? Cool. Ah, wonderful. 130 Megalo. Finally, we found something good. And a 135. And they're right beneath my base. Okay, game. You do not hate me after all. Okay. Oh my god. Blessings by God. What? Oh my god! Oh you just see that approaching out of the trees, man. Oh no! How how high level is this? Fifty-five only? Now that 135 Spinoraptor looks very nice, okay? I wanted to tame it, but I just locked off for the night. And uh, <laughs> logging on the next day, something kinda hefty happened. No! What the hell, 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 hey, 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 hey. hey he's almost dead! How long did this go on for? <sighs> oh my god, Dorito. Oh my god! Had I locked on one second later. Had I locked on one second later. It would have died. I guess the blue zone was mad. I just wanted to show me who the real boss is. So, uh, before making Tame the Spinal Raptor a priority, I called the Fabricator. And picked a nice spot for it on my base. I then created a couple of lamps after getting some crystal. But that plan didn't really fully work. Alright. Oh my god! So instead, I got the S plus multi lamp. This one lamp could be configured, and yes, I made it into a very festive red and green. And. Surprisingly, this worked. I mean, can't blame it. This light is just disgusting. M my eyes are boiling. <laughs> but if it's enough to get these weird, creepy guys away, then it's good enough. 
that they are continue to construct another trap. Reusable stone, drop the trap thingy majingy in the blue zone. But ran out of resources in the middle. Then I saw another Scorpio of Nader nearby. And remembering that those could make cementing paste, I tamed it. Because, well, I I just explained it. Cementing paste. Oh, what's that? Digging in the distance. What is digging? Oh, no. <gasps> A 180. What is that? Duka? That thing is so fast! Day 26 and I got the trap all done. And tried to get the Spino Raptor guy in. What? Very scary. Most scary thing is that I can't see it. Like, that's barely visible. It just jumped right over! Two, three. It was just there five seconds ago. Oh, just a oh no, 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 no. On aggro! On aggro! Oh my god, my spino nearly nearly got like murked. Eventually the good lady got into the trap. Entrapment. Dragging out illegal crimes to dinosaurs. Welcome to Ark Survival Evolved. Eventually through shooting the madam got very, very close to being just another power of dead flesh. So I tried to take care of that problem by inviting her out to dinner. Come on. I know you want to kill me. Gosh, you are ferocious. Did you eat it? It's gone. Oh, it might have ate it. Oh, sliver of HP left. Hallelujah. 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 Spinoraptor. Wait, we have cryopods? Yo, yo, I can't remember having wrote about that. Now, if I didn't, just put the clip up screen where I craft that because else people will call me out for cheating and lying and cancel me. So, day 27, the Spinoraptor was tamed and I called it uh, nothing yet. I ended up calling it Crimtanius due to the dread callers later though, but uh, anyways, I also wanted another great team, a Megalosaurus. The one 135 that we saw earlier was my target. Normally Megalosaurus are lazy and sleep like cats in the sun, but under the darkness of these caverns like some redditors, it stayed awake. So I got some primals for knocking it out and fed it a bit. 
Nah. But taming it on simple meat was going to take a long time. So day 29, I... Uh, I did something pretty scary and not the least bit adventurous. Put taming food in last item slot to feed. We can tame that guy! Alright, we can get a fire spitter. <laughs> what? Wait, I want Gilly for that. Do we have that unlocked? We do and now. I'm here to feed you, my friend. Where are you? No way! No way! No, I'm going to get the most overpowered thing. Feeding it. Then I got my Megalosaurus, which I named after a great car brand. Mercedes. Yes. Got myself a bit of ghillie armor as well, like a manly soldier boy scout guy. And the Nigerian fire spitter armor. But toward the night. Uh, it grew up a little bit. Two more hides needed. Okay, we're going to kill some things with uh, Mercedes. What? Wow. No, zero percent! No, what? I'm sure that I still have a place in its heart, right? Alright, let's just calmly approach it. Still fighting something. The Nigerian fire spitter. I fed you before. You want to be fed again, right? I'll feed you. You love me, don't you? Yes, you love me. It's dropping! Why is it dropping? Yes! Day 30. And oh yeah. Oh yeah! We got perhaps the strongest Nightmare Crypto tamed. But, unfortunately, couldn't have it. This issue was the same one as I had in my previous 100 Days in Aberration. For some reason, this game does not like it if you tame an Ant Cryopolder Mullet creature. So, instead of figuring out how I fixed that in the past video, I just went on a little adventure. Wanted to just explore a bit of this chasm map, you know? I swear it's like, oh my god. Crazy to believe about that we were just standing right here the other day. Crazy to think about. Now we travel here, Nigerian fire spitter in hand. Whoa, 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 whoa. Creature from the shadows, what are you? Chil Antisaurus. It's attacking a Megalo? Are you insane? Very daring move. I might want to tame you. Because of your daring attitude. Donk. Oh! 
Oh! Day 31, and I got another bright light. My gamer eyes are suffering a tremendous amount, but at least this should keep the Genshin players at bay. I also got to finally uncry on my brand new model teams. Oh my god, this shirt is fast. Toward the night, the Nigerian fire spitter fully grew into an adult, and I jumped around with it for a bit. Yo! What? And I can harvest flint? And wood? I can harvest with this guy? This guy is amazing! Burn, baby, burn! Oh my god. I'm part of the ground. Okay, now I want to do. I'm a flamethrower! Oh my god, this guy can harvest metal. Day 32 was more of the regular farming and getting tranks, as I wanted to tame another horrific monster. Yeah, this this fellow right here, okay? With a very difficult to pronounce name. It died though, yeah, so I had nothing to do. I was clueless traveling around these ultra bright tunnels. But then, I found a Alpha Siamo. Now these guys are powerful, so taking it down would be challenging. But nah, not when it can't harvest the corpse can't. Barbecue. After that I kept exploring just a little bit, found a nice and high level megalo which I wouldn't tame, the chasm, and oh, this little baby boy. <gasps> what? Luckily for me it wasn't an adult since those are untamable mini bosses with more than 100,000 HP. Tame from the last inventory slot. What female baby grave tyrant? So I traveled back to the third zone, found a Orbis, and uh, I went back to the grave tyrant baby to feed him up. I will have you, little one. By now, I also noticed just how much of a basilisk overspawning we had on this map. They were just everywhere. Is that an alpha? No, it's just a really high level basilisk. He's such a little cutie. And now, you 
you are my little cutie. Oh my god! Oh yeah, it was gonna take a long time for this guy to grow up. I discovered a brand new hair suit that day in the special Abbey Crafter. But I didn't really feel like crafting it because it required lead ore. And I also used my fire spirit to collect some more metal for the smelting. Day 35 starts its strong by working these muscles with mining gems and picking pearls in the water. It seemed a little stand by my opinion of not crafting lead though, because I did get some cooking up. I also crafted a rock drag saddle just so we are prepared for the future. I also got the grave tyrant saddle. Toward the end of the day, I noticed a guy being inside of my trap. That was easy. Day 36, I found a very high level Dinonychus. So I trapped it and BAM! Sleeping guy. And little did I know that this action the activated an unskippable part of dialogue when it was tamed. It's often too late. Superior hunters. They leap from a hiding place and pounce on their prey. No, no, it's oh, not it's nice. Not that. when you're editing and trying to find good parts to use in your video. Now all the good clips are basically ruined. So, got saddle for Tyrant. Dynam got out with an insane 46 melee. 46 melee. Oh, that is perfect. Took the great Tyrant out for some hunting later that day. They ended, another one started, and we're getting some nice Haz armor crafted. I wanted to get two sets of full durability hazards before eventually going down to the Red Chasm. We're all out of crystal. The day really wasn't all that eventful. I got bored and went on a little bit of an adventure into the blue zone. Oh my god, Rubble Golem. Oh, and another Basilisk! Oh, and another one! But... What is this? Another little man! Great! Nice! Now we had a breeding pair! Day 38 is off on the wrong foot. No! Oh no, 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 no. How do I get this off? It's a leech specimen. I hope this works. This better work, man. This better work. Yes! One could say that that man, that man was quite the sucker. After that, I went down again to the blue to heal my grave tyrant and the fire spitter. Preparations are done. We will explore the red zone now. Whoa! I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Bunyip? Golem? That's a mini boss. No, that's an actual boss. That's actually one of the nightmare bosses. A thousand percent melee on the Bunyip. So, I guess we're fighting a spooky scary. Like I called it, nightmare boss. Fantastic start to day 39. Now, what did I say? We're going to explore the red zone. I've been trailing off for far too long. This boss music is catchy. But I... The 
trailing off for far too long. It's already day 38. We still don't have a rock drake. Ha! Ah, I took that little decision there and ventured down the road toward the deep. <coughs> Alright. We have the preparations. We have the tools. With that, we shall venture down the chasm. Spiral staircase straight down to hell. Very well. Oh. Skulls of the grave tyrants. Man, this chasm is deep. The chasm. We are in the hole of darkness now. Oh. Oh. Where did our spiral staircase end? Wait! This is a nest! We just accidentally stumbled into the nest. This is a level 155. Already that's a pretty good level. Watch out, my friends! Here they come! Here they are! No, Mercedes! No! Oh no! Do we get two eggs? The 155 as well? We do. There they come. Come on, fight them, fight them, fight them, fight them, fight them. Oh, this is bad. Burn, 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 burn. Was that all cosplayers getting real hurt? Real hurt. Looking around, yes, that was all four. Now logically, when one gets a rock drag egg, one tends to travel back home. But I continued further. Oh yeah, not smart. Should have just gone back home. from up there. So this is the chasm. But despite my best judgments, I kept going. I explored around the edge of the purple water that Mr. Aiden Ross so very much enjoys. I nearly lost my life in said water. Ah. Oh, ooh, that was actually almost in the radiation water. Wow. Has broke down. Oh Jesus Christ, that scared me. 
And after all that, I slowly travel back up again. Losing my little blob dog. Oh. oh no! Oh no! Oh. <sighs> Which. It was very tragic that I lost that blob dog. So I found some other little friends. Little did I know. I forgot that these guys are Genshin Impact players. And one of them decided to say. Oh, what are you doing? What was that one little man was doing? Come on. Join the gang. What? Reaper screams? I don't see any. Reaper! Reaper! What? Hello? That's an actual Reaper! Oh, oh no 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 What did they just do? What did my little nano squad do? That has got to be a modded feature. Whoa! Day 41 I was out of the red zone and finally saw luminescence blue again. Nah, I don't like that golem. Like my beast. Oi 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 Upon returning home, I started hatching my drake, but not the cringy type, and got a pumpy boy, and I used a little trick I call upgrades. <gasps> oh my god! Green and red! You're Christmas! <laughs> okay, Christopher. You're adorable. Christmas, we're going to see something revolutionary. We're going to witness if they can breed and give us eggs. This will be revolutionary for our armies to take down the Nightmare King. <laughs> it's a lot to process, isn't, isn't it, little girl? Well, uh, you are my tame. You are going to be my rider. And... You're probably going to die with me. Yes. Oh my god! What the hell is that? Day 42 was just spent getting some more resources in the water like this crab boy. And I spent it raising my drakes. Got a whole lot of bullets as well. Ooh, now this is nice. A chem bench. Even better. Christmas. Yeah. Quite the ironic name considering this has a spooky theme, right? Christmas grew up, and obviously I flew yes. around with there. Oh my god, your speed! What? Why is this guy so fast? Hello? I missed something. <laughs> this is insane. What? Is this a glitch? This must be a glitch. This cannot be real. Yeah. I had no idea what was up with that. But hey, if your bank balance suddenly has another digit added to it, you wouldn't complain, right? I also collected my friends the Carno and the horse from the very first little check we made. Yes! Oh yes, they're still alive. They are still alive. I came back for you guys. I came back for you guys. <laughs> a 
Look at this cozy little place. Day 43 was... interesting. See, I wanted to fight a Alpha Nass. But something strange and unexplainable happened. <gasps> no, no, no. Cheat Ghost. Oh my god. Yeah, that's just a daily dose of art nonsense. Damn, Alpha Nass Suto got them superpowers. By the way, you guys like that joke with the saying that something strange happened and then I fall through the ground, yeah? Reference to stranger things, anyone? <laughs> what a stupid joke, oh my god. Anyways, I continue burning this Mizuto to crisp until it reached a very low amount of health. And I went home, got Christmas, and got the last defeat with her so that she would get all the levels. Ah, 56 levels, that's great. Back home I got shotgun bullets and trank arrows. I also found a very high level bulb dog and I tamed that guy. But oh, I have no idea how long this little blobfish looking dog will survive for. So don't grow too attached. On day 44 I was back in the blue looking around for any new tames. Does that work? Oh it does! Ah! Oh, stop glitching me. Ah! Darn you, Poison Ivy. Christmas was also just the strongest rock dragon all the park now. Ah! Ah! After taming the Poison Ivy looking plant, I continued my adventure. My goal right now was to find another high-level dying non so that we had a mating pair. Which proved more annoying than expected. No, I need that dino! Kill it! Ah! No! Kill it! Kill it, little dino! Oh my god, I'm almost dead! This is not worth it! I'm not going to go out taming something! Yeah, a vanilla creature almost caused me to reset it all. A vanilla creature! Luckily, when I got back to Poison Ivy to retrieve her in the cryopod, I found exactly what I was looking for. Oh my god! That scared the ever-loving Christ out of me. Oh, you are exactly what I needed! And 37 in HP, okay. You are what I needed. Yes! Now that I had her tamed as well, I wanted to start egg production ASAP. But I couldn't just craft the incubator. Polymer and electronics. Oh yes, boy. Darn dang it. What? Okay, we still have metal. Okay, we still, we still have metal. There's a cave there. We must explore a cave as well. My oh my, what are you? Some sort of underwater cave. It's like a big part of that. Where are the crabs, man? Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. 
Not good. I have nothing! Oh no 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 no! Oh! Oi 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 Not fun! Not fun! Returning home on day 45, I crowded the incubator. Lots of shotgun bullets. My blue gems for the... Well, gems. And for some lead. I also collected the mother load of concealed gas balls. Which... I... I forgot to... Did I seriously forget to script and explain that I got one of those things crafted up? Anyways, got one of those things crafted up. Yeah, an extractor. <sighs> Before going out to collect more lead again. Luckily, toward the end of the day, I discovered the mother load of gems. But look at this. Oh my... Lordy lord, that's a lot. And yeah, on day 46 I had 200 plus lead cooking up. I also wanted more cryopults, so that's exactly what I did. Gathered the resources and found a loot drop. Ah! <laughs> 58 damage! A measly 58 damage. Ten cryopods, wonderful. I then went around exploring a little more. No idea why, but I truly stumbled upon something terrifying. Oh, Chilantaisaur spotted. Oh, goodness gracious. Now me being me, I wanted to tame this guy and make an army out of them. But of course, easier said than done. Yeah! I got my armor. No. Gosh. Now, start of day 47, and as before with the Spino Raptor, I ran into a rather annoying situation again. Mans was very low HP, so low that one arrow shot could kill it. So I had to think of a solution. One more shot. Ah, that little grief. Ah, ha ha. Thank you, server. <laughs> Scary big boy. <laughs> Why are you so low, boy? Finally. Yes, step on me. That sounds... Weird, but step on the bug. Heal, my friend, heal. Be knocked out. Please. Yes. When the Shilan Tai thing went out, I murked some locals and fed the dino. Once Mr. Shilan Tai was tamed, I returned home, repaired some stuff. I got my ghillie armor. I then traveled over to a surface entrance I found a couple of days back. You know, in the tunnel underneath a giant metal bridge. Terribly explained, but that's where it was. And at midnight, I traveled up and out. Holy surface! It's dark. What? This is the darkest place in Aberration so far. Oh boy. Is this an actual obelisk? Oh 
You'll die. That wasn't that hard. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> they want me to fight Rockwell on the surface. Oh, that's beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. We need to have one of these cinematic shots. Oh yeah, very beautiful. Oh yeah, very beautiful. Yeah, no. Once I felt it became a little bit sketch, and considering I didn't want to become an overcooked human steak, I left the surface. But it seems like I used a different exit than before. And then traveled over to the other surface on the map and started losing there. These surfaces appear to not behave like those in our good old familiar aberration. I mean, duh, these are different maps. But what I really meant to say is that to get a drop to spawn on the surface, I first had to loot the other ones already there. That will be very useful for my scorpion army. With 40 armor. Oh, that's got to be the worst ascendant saddle I've ever seen. So you find oil on the surface. Never knew, good to know. Oh, this is cutting it close. This is cutting it way too close. The sun is rising. Oh, yeah. Day 49 could have very well been my last of how close I cut it. That is the sun. Oh, oh. Go down, go down, please. Please, please, please. Don't mess, don't mess, don't mess. Don't mess, this up. don't mess this up. Just drop. Just drop. And no need to pretend to be different. Ah! Day 50, and you want to know why I haven't yet explored the other half of this map? Well, this is why. The man that modeled this map never finished the project. Which, I find very unfortunate. Even the fact that no reapers spawned in the red zone was disappointing, but... Yeah, that's just the little rant, I guess. I made some reinforced hazmat that day as I wanted to travel down the chasm once more, as I had seen some mapusaurus roaming about. I wanted to try to tame one of these. So yeah, got a catapult, a couple of triangle foundations, harvest wood and metal to smelt, got all my gear together and hey, I traveled down. I want to know what we can do now. Now we don't really need to take the path down, we can just dive down. Oh, this is spooky. Very spooky. Oi, oi, oi! Well, that will make my chances of having babies very low, but at least we're safe and protected. I mean, my babies will probably look deformed, but it's the price to pay. And now comes the very tedious and very lasting search for high level map boy. Ah! Oh my goodness, what are you, you horrendous creature? You have fur! A dodo reaper. Sweet! We have just spotted a sleep paralysis demon. Oh, there's one. Woo! 145. I was just about to give up.
13 points into HP. I don't think we can even tame that. Let's see if we can even place down the... Are you serious? No ground. There's ground everywhere! No ground! There's all this mesh not counters ground! Can't place this down! No ground! And that tame literally requires you to place down a catapult. Yeah, I couldn't even place any structures in the red. Hooray, us! Time wasted! Hooray! Luckily, the day wasn't all that awful considering I found another high level Shilantai. Oh, yo, yo. A female. That is. horrifying. Oh, hi! Ay, ay, ay. Initially, I wasn't planning on breeding these, but hey, when life gives you lemons, you throw them straight at someone's sparked car. Forever? No, good. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this on foot? Oi, oi, oi. It's a Flori Flor Floridan! Did that hit it? <laughs> that hit the Siamo? Wrong dino! doing what am I doing you were not the dino I was trying to shoot oi 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 oh wow 140 Dai knowledge is absolutely destroying the Chilantai want that Hi, there you are. Yeah, I hit it. Definitely, 100%. And so why are you running away from me? In fear? <laughs> average, <laughs> average uh, female experience right here. They run away, or rather, they run away when I hit on them, yes. Woman, I just angered you. Your natural instinct is to claw my eyes out. See, this female understood the assignment. Ay, ay, ay! Ay! <gasps> ah, you're so adorable! Oh my god! Is this Chilantai doing? Okay, I hit it. I hit her again. And she just runs away. My attempt at finding love. Oh my god, what am I saying? Run like the wind! <laughs> Here, I bring you a present. I bring you a present. I heard females like it when guys give them presents. Here's a present. I shall give you more. I bring you a little puppy. I heard that men are more attractive if they have pets. So here is a puppy to celebrate. Our unity. They're trying to run away from me. Darn you. 
I gave you gifts and everything. I am just trying to show you how much I love you. My affection. Why do you not want me? Is it because of me? No, it's definitely not because of me. It's definitely because of you. It's your fault. So now, you shall be my friend. For all eternity. Ay, ay, ay. Well, at least she went out. Once she went to sleep and eat the meat, I found a little Irish legend and got that one as well. Couldn't pass up my chance to tame Nessie. Okay, Barrow. Right. On day 53, I returned home to unload some stuff and unpulled my new tames. I'd like now to reflect on our goal of having to take on the Nightmare King on day 75 by making my tames breed. The plan was simple. Shield and Tai would do raw damage, and Dinonychus would be glass cannons. The Grave Tyrants would just be tanks. Hopefully that will be good enough. I mean, I had no idea what this Nightmare King was capable of. Well, I ran into a little issue with the Grave Tyrants again though. Now your eggs. Heavy eggs. And these hatch... Two minutes? Yeah, two minutes. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Sure, I can definitely check that. I can definitely check those eggs. What the hell? So it was 33 and 35, right? 33, 35. Oh, we have the perfect female. It's just going to take like half an hour to hatch her. Continue breeding into day 54. But you know, why would I just breed? No, how about we have a kick-ass breeding and building montage? A double B. Let's get it. Perfect. Male. Perfect female. God, you are. We just got a mutation on HP. Now I need triangle. What the f- <sighs> I'm not going to do that again. Darn it. Wait, what am I doing? We could just do it like this. I just got a genius idea. Okay. But wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wow. 
Earthquake. It looks so stupid though. What are you doing here? I'm just going to leave it at this as, as it is. I I I feel like it's a big accomplishment. On day 56, I finished off the complete build of my home, and slowly I was getting sick and tired of constantly breathing. So I took just a little break and flew around aimlessly. Once I returned, I made another feeding throth for the baby dinos. The army now consisted of six Shinantais, a couple of dinons, and soon I would also add a couple of tyrants to the army as well. But like I said, breeding is not fun. I do not understand how some officials people used to do stuff. Those mans ain't ever heard of real life and or vitamin D. I then took Leon out a bit later to wreak some havoc and to overall see how effective the dinos were. Okay Leon, first target. Okay, that bleed actually did a lot of damage. Later I harvested some obsidian and got a fabulous haircut. Snibble, snibble, snibble. No, the ponytail and then that. That's hilarious. That's like the mas masculine woman. And at night, I also took one of my shin and ties out to kill. Day 57 started off by now also letting my grave tyrants get a little bit romantic. That is, if dinosaurs even understand the concept of romance. I also got a skeletal ass looking bench. What is this? Ivory bear bench. That day was also another 10% 90%. So I traveled back to one of the surfaces to loot it clean. Huzzah, foul creatures of the night! Huzzah, foul creatures! That was actually not good. That was so dumb. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> Why would I do something like that? <laughs> Me! Of all people! Me. Oi, oi, oi. I eventually got a pretty sick ass Spinosaurus setup from this one drop. And in this moment, I decided that I wanted to get an imprinted Spinosaurus to use it with. The chasm had a massive. <coughs> Not really that massive, considering this map is still a work in progress, which I didn't know. But this. Chasm has a massive underwater system. And I wanted to explore this massive underwater system, you know. So, once back home, I got my taming kit, the trusty billboard, and a bear trap. Found a high level at night, and of course, tried to trap it. Oh, it ran straight over. Oh, no. 
So I traveled back to the lake at our little primitive camp to pick up the Spinosaurus trap we use on Dingle. But on the ways I found something quite... I don't know, I'm at a loss for words right now thinking of something to say. Big. Let's just say I saw something big. You seem to be counted as a boss. There's a giant level 245 Grave Tyrant. An adult. What? Okay. What am I saying, bro? I don't know. Alright, so. Bleep, bleep. Bleep, bleep. On day 59, I placed down the trap and tried to clear the area of all potential diamonds that could wreck over my Spinosaurus. No, I was just trying to clear the way. Well, there goes the max level. Pretty, uh, scuffed way to end. Oh, no. How did it get so low? I just traveled home and did something that didn't require any talent. Yes, breeding is talentless and doesn't require any effort. Fight me in the comments for that. Day 16, I literally just returned from a one month vacation. Yeah, it was a great one. You could say it was uh, quite a roller coaster of emotions. Anyways, I took my trap with me back to the previous lake and found another high level Spino, and then I tried to get it trapped. Whoa! Hello, big boy! Damn, you are one tanky mofo. Yeah. Now, though. Come on. Oh! Oh, they jumped over! That's not supposed to happen. Oh, shoot. Okay, just follow me. No, it jumped over again. What? I swear, it didn't do that before. Oh yeah, I go to me, I go to me. I'm a tasty, tasty snack. Oh my god, how did it lose aggro? This is so stupid, bro. I don't want my first trip back from back to Ark to be like this. I don't want it to be this annoying. Nope. How? How does this work? How? Oh, God. Ark. I swear, if this guy can still somehow magically jump over this, I'm going to actually rage quit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, game. Yeah, yeah. What kind of a patch just got rolled out to make spinos like this? Oh, shoot. No, how did it run around? How? This, I f***ing hate this. C 
go inside. And after all that suffering, on day 61, Mans was finally trapped in a cage. After that, it was just a question of time before he got knocked out. Ah, I just waited next to it till it woke up and became mine. This is the traditional shotgun dance. It is performed for good stats. Trust me, this traditional shotgun dance, no one has done it, but I'm doing it right now. The traditional shotgun dance. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if you really if the traditional shotgun dance worked. 43 melee. I'd say it did wonders. Day 62 and they were already breeding. And very soon I had a perfect set egg. I also crafted a bit of scuba, but noticed that I needed more polymer to complete the set. Polymer. There we go. <laughs> Look at him, he's so fat. <laughs> After calling the spinal Bateman, I essentially had nothing else to do. Just had to wait. So I just killed some more things with a Dynon. I also saw a very, very high level Amulo Mulu nearby. Or whatever the hell that name is. Minnetuka, I guess. Very scary guy. That was one very aggressive guy. Day 63 and Bateman was an adult. So I murked some other tiny little spino brothers and sisters and got Bateman fully maxed in terms of stats. Then I healed him with a glowy plant. Alright. Day 64 and I had it down into the abyss. Yes, there's one. Alright, gear up. Patrick Bateman, put on your Sigma male music. We're going down. I gotta say, man, it looks beautiful here. Oh? No invisible barrier now. Yo. Now we're actually going somewhere. Wow. Oh, it goes even deeper. There's no creatures here, which is actually pretty surprising. I thought there would be aberrant, like Mozas and stuff. Imagine aberrant Mozas, that would be so cool. The red zone. Okay. Wow. Gotta say, this is. So it would have been a lot scarier if there were actually creatures here. Basically, just chilling, I guess. Oh, is this the invisible barrier? Did we hit another invisible barrier? Yep. Look at that. Characteristics of an invisible barrier. You cannot continue under any circumstance. Oh, there's another way. Let's take that. Purple stones. No, pink. Pinkish purple. Purple boys. No! Freezing spores. Oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. And we're underwater. Oh no. No, now we're stuck. Now we're unstuck. We gotta continue that path. I just wanted to get some air. <gasps> oh, this is trippy. Is this how I'm going to end? No, I'm not going to end to freezing spores. There's no way I'm going to die to freezing spores. There's no way I'm going to end to freezing spores. We can't end to freezing spores. Not after everything we've been through. Not after everything. This can't be how I'm going to die. Oh no. Oh. Oh 
now. We're unconscious. Uh, we're spazzing. Actually, I shouldn't continue. What if there's more freezing spores? Then that was it. Goodbye, I legend. Do we have anything hazard? We have one. One piece. That's all. No, sir. This adventure took a very bad turn for the worst, so... Other than that close call where we nearly ended this run because of some freezing spores, the cave was just very anticlimactic and boring. Especially because I expect to see some new and mysterious scary beings. I mean, water is the perfect opportunity to create like some giant octopus kraken being, but no, no, nothing, nothing there. Oh, an alpha paranexa. Okay. Look at this Spino, it does so much damage. Strongest creature, as of right now. At base I hatched five Grave Tyrants for the army, which completed it. The only thing that would be extremely annoying to get were those saddles they needed since they require lead, red gems and some other stuff. <sighs> so I got to it. We need, wow. <laughs> Red gems, all right. And so I harvested red gems because, well, we needed those. We needed those badly for the grave tyrant saddles. Now I have enough weight to carry one of those stacks. It was going to take forever for these lead bars to get cooked up. So I took on Emela Nduka. There, you see that one? I need the Emela Nduka. Or whatever the hell. What is this guy fighting? Man, it does have quite a big forehead. Oh god! Oh my... freaking... What? Did it just run away from my trap? Come on. Come on now. Um. Hello, Emilu. Nduka. But very soon I realized that my trank arrows would be rather ineffective. So I took the long neck from back in the days. The one collecting dust and gave it some upgrades. I also collected some narco berries with my stego guy and made some narcotics. Nearing the end of the day, I combined the rounds we had with the narcotics we had collected, and now, now I would tame the beast. Imagine if we get a couple of Amelon Dukas. I mean, we know the location of another one. If this one is strong, we might as well. Like, it's pretty easy to tame. Throwing it in was scary, but... Hmm, it's pretty chill. Yes! In the mod pack I had made, there were also some new kinds of fruits you could collect from bushes. And I discovered that they were very effective when used to tame something. Well, we tamed a beast. A beast of a triceratops. Oh. Bop, beep, bop, boop. Bop. Alright. Emila and Duka tamed now. So when the Lentuka got tamed, I tested it out a bit and noticed that it probably wasn't that worth it. Day 67 and I wanted something very special from the deep red. A Dodo Reaper. 
Last trip we were down here, I discovered a very high level Dodo Reaper and I wanted to see how much torpor it had and if I had enough tranks to knock it out. High level Dodo Reaper. How much torpor does this guy have? 70,000! That is a little bit more. I need some more bullets. Unfortunately not. Travel home, get charcoal, get GP, gunpowder, get narcotics, get tranks. Get 200, then go down. Now, this was going to be painful, considering you can't place any buildings down here in the red. And you need to stay close to Reapers because of their darkness buff. And we can't have that there. And yes, this day, day 69, then 70. Yes, I'll just, I'll just let that sink in. All of these days were all spent in the red, knocking this one, this one singular reaper out. I also fed it a bit, but noticed that it just did not get any taming effectiveness. So I put a bit of meat into its inventory and just traveled home. Couldn't babysit this guy. Later, at the point of it getting tamed, I traveled back and retrieved it. And of course, tested it out. I'm sorry, what? Can I seriously not burn that little iguanodon? You have to be kidding me, bro! There, we had it! We actually did it! So you have to look all the way down, all the way down! And then you have to do it! This is so dumb. This, this, this doesn't even look like it should burn it, but it does. This doesn't sit right with me. Well, there goes the alpha. The following day, day 71, I got the final Grave Tyrant saddle. And I equipped my little army. Then I had to heal them with the glowy plants again. Hooray! What fun. Day 72. I cryoed up all of my dino niches. I also got all the dinos good in whistle order. So that they would be able to keep up and follow me. But I did not yet travel toward the Nightmare King. Because I first had to make sure that it was where I remembered I put it. Oh. There he is. The Nightmare King. <laughs> 54480. Once I got back home, I also wanted to slowly progress toward the Rockwell boss fight by getting a cooker. But I was short of some resources. I also wanted a mining drill just because of how good they were at literally everything. So I went out to collect polymer from some crabs when I saw a crab of all crabs. The crab. Got the mining drill not too long after that. And I went on a little harvesting run with it. Going away from the forges, and I promise you, if I go like this, like this right here, it'll go away from the forges. Nothing is shaked away from the forges, even though my body is tilted toward the forges. See, the game just knows. And now, if I turn around, right? If I turn around like this, right? Then it goes the other way. This game is rigged down to the bottom of code. Day 73 and I was a little short of some toll for the cooker. Some more crab killing it was. I made lots of cooked crab meat that day. Then, after that it was just a question of time again before the matter got smelted. So I AFK'd. Yes, AFK'd. The whole of that day was spent AFK. And a good chunk of 74 as well. There was still time left though, and I wouldn't throw it away anymore. I uh, got up to a little river stream I thought was safe enough, and then I began construction on the safety box for the cooker. I got far with the construction, but I noticed that the day was almost over, and on the following day we would have to take on the Nightmare King. 
So I returned back home. Day 75. <laughs> it was time. I saddled one of my big boys and started the journey over to the Red Bridge. Uh, or something. Oh, we have the army. Look at the army march. Oh. Destroy this golem. What kind of a level is this guy? Oh, wow, 145. No, great tyrant. No! They seem to be following. Once every diamond was unpolled, I marched to the metal plate, then the battle began. As we march onto the steps of the Nightmare Realm, we remember what has been and what will be. Once we defeat this, we will have greatness. If we get defeated, then we have nothing. Good luck! One thousand damage! Woo! Neutral, 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 help your friends! Help your friends! Please! They're not helping their friends! Wait, we won? Well, that was easy. A little bit too easy. The Nightmare King. Well, <laughs> I was so disappointing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I set this up thinking like this would be like some insane boss. I <laughs> oh my god. The nightmare is finally over. I can see clearly again, and need not be afraid of the dark anymore. I'm slightly disappointed by how easy that was. <laughs> I'm so sli- I was so dumb. Yay, the nightmare's over. Darn it. <laughs> Darn it, wow. Uh, so, now that it is defeated, we have a lot of stuff. And, most importantly, we have our own a nightmare princess. Very disappointing. But hey, now we had a brand new Indomitus Rex. That's cool. After unpulling all my creatures at the base, I took it for a spinning kill. Yes, spinning kill, I guess. What he sees is prey. Oh yeah, listen to how fast I am now. Oh, you poor idiot. You hold it pressed in. 100 million. After all of that, I returned to the cooking place and continued building the box. Made it three walls high with variety and a couple of railings on top. And yeah, mining drill was good at its task. I then got more narcotics and red tinto berries and wanted to start production. But I forgot gasoline. This is powered. Turn on. Yes, it's producing. It's 
You are mine. I will hang your little head up on my wall. But now I understand you. I understand you, Nanasuto. All you want to do is protect your herbivores. See, I didn't understand you the previous 100 days. But now I understand you. No. No, no, no. Ah, so you just... You have to be like on it. We're going to tame a pinnacle mans. We're going to tame a pinnacle mans. Yes. I'm with you. Yes. No, ah, you're so cute. <laughs> Whoa! No. Ah! I didn't want to hurt you, please. You have to believe me. After that Nasuto incident, I returned home and... <laughs> AFK'd again. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I wanted to fight someone. So I returned to that grave tyrant we saw way back when. And started to fight with him in the night box. going to push me off. No, you devil! It felt like if I barely put a dent into this guy's skeletal armor. So eventually I just backed off, realizing that I would have to bring a small army to take it down. There's just one little problem though, I did not cry on my rock trick, so it was somewhere on like a high stone pillar. Great, and I didn't even remember which one that was, even better. I only have to climb up there. That's good. It's still super far, but it's better than nothing. Nice. I didn't think that was possible. I need to get up there. We risk it with the jump. We can make that! There we go. Wait, is this a floor too high? I think this is a floor too high. That would be pretty funny. Whoa! Oh, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Oh, it's constant! Run! Run! This is not how I'm going to die. Okay, am I just absolutely lost? Where is... I can't have such a thing happen again. Agravic! I... I don't remember which one we were on. Okay, so we have to make a little gamble. Either we go to that rock, or we go to that rock. But I think it was that rock. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Meow. No, wait. I don't remember that there was bioluminescence in the redder. There, it's that one! We were standing above it all the time. Indeed. Day 79. Let's see. I got a couple of Dinonichus, some Grave Tyrants, Mr. Bateman, and then I fought the Big Boss Tyrant. We're going to fight another creature of the night. Another Nightmare Devil. Go on, fight! There we go. And we 
got a lot of gear from that guy as well. Wow. The Grave Tyrant has been defeated. Hooray! Day 18, I really had nothing more to do. I mean, really nothing. I got a bit of taming gear and went out to tame something new because that's all I was left on this adventure. Luckily, I killed the correct one. You do not see me. I don't exist. I don't exist. Uh, I told you I don't exist. Why do you not acknowledge me for who I am? I identify as non-existing. <laughs> Why does this thing still acknowledge me? I don't exist. I don't exist. I don't exist. <laughs> You know what? Fine. Fine, fine, fine. If you wanted to do this, you weren't even my goal to begin with. After giving up on that guy, I traveled the bioluminescence and found another grave siren. Mini boss. Eventually, I would defeat that one as well. Your fate has been written. Hey, I found a Galvarax not too soon after that. And I tried to tame it. Because, like said, I had nothing better to do anymore. So why not? Ah! So we don't get any torpor from that, eh? Okay, what I'm doing now is risky. Five. We. Oui. Oh my! God! I did not know he could yeet. What an interesting creature. There, that's the that's the thing. There we go. It's still exhausted. Ooh. No, he's charging up. Don't you dare make us fly again. Oh no. I need to get out of this ASAP. I need to be very careful not to hit that thing. There we go. Yes! We did it! With the Galvarax tamed, I tried to get the Grave Tyrant interested enough in me to jump off the edge. Since I could take down my army down there to fight that guy better. Once I returned home, it was day 81. Oh well, the end of... 81. I got the saddle for my Galva guy, and then I obviously tested it out. Jesus Christ, this guy has lanky legs. Oh, excitement is going up. No, 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 no. Don't worry, we're going to galvanize. All right. Special moves are now available! <laughs> Day 
day 82. Now what was I going to do on day 82? Simple. I took my army with me and took on the other Grave Tyrants. Which was going to be an easy victory for us. But I still lost my Dolimit just to it. The loot this one guy gave us was quite good. Very good in fact. But other than that, not much to do. You've... Yes, yes you my viewer. You can clearly see the issue I came across. There was just flat out nothing to do. Okay, I could breed. Which I did to have enough of an army for Rockwell. But other than that, not much anymore. I could perhaps tame something. But I didn't really feel like it. Building really is also not a strength of mine. Luckily, I found another alpha dino in the river, which I could fight and take down. <laughs> it's all I can do now. Just murder alphas with my dumbness. Later I got a fridge and placed it somewhere, but at this point I had run out of space, so it just looked weird here, but I don't know. I then went to the cooker I had left producing Metrus and got a little bit disappointed by how little there was. So I got more tinto berries with Dentuka, went back to the cooker and got some more being made. I then hashed a couple more babies and of course imprinted them. Alright, so now that we had those growing up I needed more saddles again. So I headed out and collected gems with the drill. On day 85, while I was still getting blue gems and lead, I stumbled across an alpha basilisk. But more importantly, an alpha galvarex. After mining a bit more, I returned home, and then I got a hazard mask and my domination rex and took them both on. That's good. Excuse me? What? Why was that all? We just defeated that like really easily. <laughs> Safe to say that one domination rex is very strong. Very powerful. I then checked back on my cooker to see how much it had made. Hey, a good amount, but we could do better. So I traveled back and got more red berries. Oh yeah, defeating that Nightmare King, I uh, noted to myself to enable Gamma again. So I did just that. <laughs> Honestly, it feels kind of weird being able to use it after all that time without Gamma usage. Day 86. There wasn't much to do other than prepare for the Alpha Rockwell boss fight, and I was dreading it. It's safe to say that I had some pretty bad experiences with Rockwell. Some very bad ones. If you've watched me for some time, you'll know exactly what I mean. So I wanted more bullets. Used my mining drill and some rocks around the base for a bucket load of flint, which I used to make some flint powder. Flint powder? Seriously? Sp spark powder? I also gathered a bunch of charcoal from my campfires and forges and began making a lot. And I mean a lot of gunpowder. The grave tyrant saddles were also done and made up. So I equipped the tyrants with the saddles and once more went down to the plan to heal. But I had a bit of trouble Two basilisks. Oh, they're both aggro now. Whoa! That's one done. <laughs> oh, 
half of my HP. Basilisks truly are one of a kind dangerous. One of a kind dangerous. I, I don't know if I had survived without my Dota Reaper there. Good, I got him with me. Anyways, I just went AFK next to Dinos and waited on them to fully heal up. Once I got home, I began fully reorganizing my gear and my inventory. I had basically completed the game. There was nothing more for me to do. Sure, I, I, I could drag this video out till the last day 100, but I don't want to waste your time and enjoyment watching this video. So what I'm doing is preparing my gear for the Rockwell fight. I also got more cooked food and a final bit of shotgun bullets. Day 87, or better said, night 87. I cried out my whole army. My shield and ties, my Rex is Fire Spitter Spino, Dodo Reaper Nightmare Rex, the whole bunch of them, okay? And I got the final few memories from the cooker. I also noticed that I could make more gunpowder, so I did just that. Could never have enough bullets for the Rockwell fights. I was missing something though. I needed Nameless Venom to summon the boss. So I went back to the red and got some. Day 88. And it was time. So I traveled toward a service entrance. And I just had to wait till night time so I wouldn't get scorched. And once it was time. Well, I guess it was time to fight! Come on, I don't have time for this. I don't have time. My friend, I don't have time. close to being done, so close to being done, so close to having unpotted everything. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! What are I unpotting? Our oh, grave tyrants. No wonder. Stop! Oh my god, this is nerve-wracking, bro. Just dropping one of them. Okay. Oh, not everything is going in. That grave time right there in the corner is not going in. Excuse me? Have you come here to challenge me? Um you've made a fatal error in judgment. Yeah. Survivor. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I think I made a very, very big mistake. You find yourself in the presence of Sir Edmund Rockwell, savant, scientist, survivor. What? What was happening to me? This, this is one of the worst ways to go out. Okay, the nightmare wouldn't let me escape. It wouldn't let go. In the nightmare realm, it is a prison. It's fair. Now I know, I know, a little bit of a lackluster end. Don't worry, alright, because the next video, the following 100 days, will be far worse compared to this primal fear. Goodbye, for now. <laughs>